What's up guys, Colorado Sports Review here. At the end of the day, all I gotta say man is... What a... Horrible... Horrible way to lose a game. Um... It's unacceptable. And you can't put on the players. Nothing in this game was on the... On, on the avalanche. The avalanche is... Forwards and defensemen. Nothing. I'm just going to recap this, and I'm going to talk about the ridiculous crap that happened in this game. Because, ah, oh, it's so frustrating, man. Like, I know we get a point from the overtime, but it, it's just unacceptable. And I'm going to talk about it in a second, but it's just not okay. Um, anyway, the Avalanche uh, starts slow like normal in the first period. It's been kind of a normal thing this year. We're missing, like, we have, like, seven AHL players in our lineup. Um, some of them are proving themselves, like O'Connor and McDonald, some of them are proving themselves, so you don't get me wrong, um, pretty soon I'll stop calling them AHL players, but, like, okay, let me calm myself down, uh, the Ducks end up scoring about five minutes in on a goal, it was an R8 goal, but something Hunter Miska should have stopped, and that's a lot of what happened tonight, and you'll, you'll figure it out quite uh, soon here, <laughs> why I'm so upset, um, it was just right off the face-off, actually, I don't know if Hunter Miska should have had this one, it was right off the face-off, kind of a lucky, kind of a lucky, uh, break for the Ducks, um, so they score, and then second period, towards the beginning, they score again. So it's 2 nothing Ducks. And, uh, I'm like, oh no. But we, we got this, like, we, we did this, we did this last game, we, we can do this, right? We score two more. We score two goals. We tie the game. One from, um, who was it? One from... Uh, I'm, Logan O'Connor on a breakaway. Great goal by him. He's one of the AHL players who's proving himself. I think he's going to secure a fourth line spot on this team. Um, and then uh, Miko Ranton scores. He banks the, the puck off the back of the goalie into the net. Nice goal from Miko Ranton. It's tied. I'm like, yes, we got this. Going to the third period. Everything was going according to plan. We started on the power play. Um, we were energized. Ever since that second period when we got that power play, we were just energized. You we were going. Um, and all night, all night, we could have had more goals scored on us. Hunter Miska is so wobbly in net. There's no confidence. He's He makes he makes a stop, and then he, he just flies all over the ice. Like... When, normally, when you see a goaltender, it's like they're not even on ice. They're, they're stable. But Hunter Miska was playing like he was actually on ice, which he is. But he was, like, sliding everywhere. Um, And uh, next, uh, Mika Rantanen gets a beautiful goal, screened. Goes in. Mika Rantanen putting up points, putting up goals. Um... And he's playing great this season. And then, like, 30 seconds or a minute later, Brandon Sod scores. It's 4-2. to two. And at this point, there's six minutes left in the game. No, no, no. Like, seven minutes left in the game. And I'm like, nice. This is avalanche hockey. Like, six more minutes is a win. We have this locked down. There's no way we're going to get two goals to a mediocre team like the Ducks, and boy was I wrong, because of Hunter Miska, the first goal, it's it's just a shot towards the net, it's not anything special, no screen, no nothing, right in the, right here, right here, and he, it, he somehow gets through him, like that's unacceptable, you can't let that happen. That, that's not what an NHL goaltender does. I guarantee to you, any other goaltender in this league, backup or starter, would have saved that puck. And then it's a 4-3 uh, game. And then the Avalanche give up a power play. Um, that's the only thing they really did wrong. 
in that period of hockey. And Hunter Miska lets another one go. It was it was a good shot, but it was also a stoppable puck. But he's like moving all over the crease and it's there's these wide open holes in the net like every time the Avalanche I mean sorry, the Ducks are in her zone. He's a small goalie, but I've watched small goalies like Fran Sos. He makes himself bigger by being able to stop pucks and being a mobile and athletic. I haven't seen any of this from Hunter Miska. There's no confidence in this guy. Then the there's another score for the Ducks, like I said. 4-4. Four, four. We go to overtime, and Miko Rantanen accidentally trips a guy. His stick was just in the wrong place at the wrong time and ends up tripping. We kill off like three quarters of the power play, but of course, especially with Hunter Miska in net, it's not like you're going to kill off an overtime power play. That's ridiculously hard to do. Um... Because, right, it, it, like, in overtime when you have a power play, it's pretty much get, you, you're getting handed an automatic win. Um, so the Avalanche lose 5-4 to four after being up 4-2 to two, um, in the third period. Like, <laughs> it, 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 not even just the third period. It's like, they were like 6 minutes, 30 seconds left, and they had a two-goal lead. I'm sure I'm going crazy, but this is a game worth ranting about. Like, it's unacceptable. Like, you... France has been out, like, the whole season. I don't even know what's going on with him, because the Avs don't say anything about injuries. Hunter Miska is not an NHL goalie. He's small, and he... he every... Every save he made, there was either a rebound or he, he was shaking. And to say, when I say shaking in that, he was sliding everywhere. And when he was just, like, wobble, a little bit wobbly, like, that was the best he ever was. Giving up rebounds was the best he ever was. When the worst was obviously pucks going in the net. Like, the best, the best, like, time he played was when pucks were bouncing off of him. At least the puck was going in the net. But every time there was a shot towards the net, you would have feeling, oh, there's like about a 25% chance this puck goes in the net. It's just unacceptable and ridiculous. Um, This is a game the Avs always are going to close out on. And I don't blame the Avalanche players. I mean, maybe we could do a little bit more. But Hunter Miska, I'm putting 90% of the blame on Hunter Miska tonight. Horrible performance. He's not an NHL goalie. You know? I don't want to be too hard on him. And I have been really hard on him. But he's had a good career in the AHL. He's not an NHL goaltender. And for some reason, we don't make... We don't go out and look for that guy. We we All we need is somebody that's going to be decent. Like... Like... How we had that Michael Hutchinson last year. At least Hutchinson could come in and not allow goals to squeeze through his arms. Not let every freaking puck in the net. Um, but this is unacceptable. Um, and it was horrible. But I'm sorry for ranting this long. The Avalanche do get a point. Honestly, they're kind of lucky to get the point because Hunter Miska sucks. Um, but we should have won this game. Uh, I mean, good on the Ducks for battling back, but when you have a Hunter Miska and that, it's not like it's the craziest thing to do. Um, and we showed we showed resilience for the second strike game by coming back two nothing again and taking a two goal lead, and then this happens. Unacceptable. Uh, we need to we need to deal with Hunter Miska. Please get him out of here, and we need to get just another backup in here because this is unacceptable. Uh, when Grubauer is not playing, it's it's it feels like we're gonna lose and give up a lot of goals. Um, it's like he only had an eight eighteen save percentage, which is unacceptable. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate it. I'm sorry for ranting on you guys for so long, but. Games like this are just unacceptable. You just can't allow it. Abs lose 5-4 in overtime, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.